So welcome to this video. In this video I'm visiting the Isle of Wight Steam Railway and I'm on my own and you might also notice that I'm doing a voiceover and that's because Jenny and Poppy are not with me and we didn't do our customary sound check before we left. So I forgot to switch my mic on. Anyway, here we are at the Isle of Wight Steam Railway. I did eventually remember to switch my mic on, you'll be glad to know. But I do hope you can come along with me. This was a wonderful day out. Now Jenny and Poppy decided to stay behind in the motorhome uh, with the air conditioning switched on and uh, because it was quite a hot day today. Isle of Wight Steam Railway is celebrating a hundred years anniversary of the Southern Railway. Southern Railway only existed for 24 years but had a dramatic impact on the island's railways and this period is remembered as a bit of a golden era. Uh, the station I joined at is Haven Street and there's an exhibition there and uh, you can go around the museum, there's a train discovery centre there and you can go up and down the line. From Haven Street it goes up to Smallbrook Junction and then comes back and then you can go to Wootton and Haven Street. There's about 10 miles of line on here but uh, what really attracted me here were the engines. So I had a good look around the engines as well as a ride on the on the carriages we rode on. This is W24 Calborn named after uh, a village on the island. Uh, it was originally built in 1891 at Nine Elms Works, uh, passed on to Southern Railway in 1923. It was fitted with air brake equipment, Westinghouse air brake system to allow it to haul passenger trains. So here we are leaving Haven Street for Little Station. A delightful little run through the country takes you up to Smallbrook junction. At Smallbrook Junction you can cross the platform and you can join the modern electric ride to Shanklin line. The train itself now runs back to Wootton which has been restored as an Edwardian country terminus before returning to Haven Street. day out today uh, on the Isle of Wight steam railway. Ooh, clean out the boiler there. <laughs> That's been brilliant. The trouble was I forgot to switch my mic on. Carriages. Mm. Museum here as well. Engine sheds over there. Oh, fabulous. Great Britain.
towards the end of the line, Wootton. Okay. Yeah, that's what set. Uh, yeah. Today, but uh, wonderful engines. shop over there. There's a thing called a train story, I'm not sure what that is, a workshop, carriage and wagon workshop, engine sheds there. There's a bit going on now, waiting for another engine to come up here, take us back up there. There we go. I wonder if he ever misses that. Quite a way up there. trains that are running here. Yeah, very, very busy today, but uh, it's a great day out, especially in this weather. Let's have a look in the museum. Okay, a model shop. in here. <laughs> Great big clock here. A little bit of history here. Cows and Newport Railway, Isle of Railway, Isle of Wight Railway. 1919. Southern Railway founded in 1923. Eleven oh two survived to the end of steam services. About the carriages and stations. At peak the island had thirty three stations, fifty five and a quarter miles of railway. Wow. So the signaling. Down. A whole load of information here. Started the Isle of Wight Steam Railway in 1971. <laughs> right, pier and tramway. Now have a look at the carriage and wagon workshop. Oh, it's quite a bit quieter over here. Oh, 
Oh well, we're restoring the oldbury carriages. Carriages built in 1898 by Brown Marshall of Birmingham for London Chatham and Dover Railway. The door in 48 has moved to a farm where it served as a store and animal shelter. The first carriage to be rescued by the Isle of Wight Steam Railway. This is Calborn as the last survivor out of a total of 60 0204 t locomotives. all the uh, things they've got in the yard here. Quite a few locomotives. Looks like it's a bit of a cafe here as well. Must be useful. Sandwiches and tea. Train store. Look. Yeah. Our museum represents 150 years of rally on the Isle of Wight. <laughs> Majesty the Queen travelled on the Wooden to Haven Street Line to open the carriage and wagon workshop, which was funded by the Heritage Lottery Fund. All of the staff and volunteers of our Heritage Railway do so much to be believed. Come on up the southern. <coughs> Ajax. All about how it works. Diesel shunter. Oh, that's good. Luggage. Old one and old two. Very good. Wow, look at that. You've got a dining table in there. Good grief. Third class? <laughs> Not really. But yeah. Yeah, what they're doing here is they're bringing them into the siding, so if you wonder why it's pushing them, keep moving them out of the way. See it, dragonflies in the pond there.
Well, this has been a brilliant day out. Uh, well worth a visit. If you're on the Isle of Wight, made my day, that is. Ice cream here. Real ale. Where we are on it. There's a bird of prey centre here as well. Where we are on it. Bit random here, but there's a US Army truck. tipper truck. Well that was brilliant, enjoyed that very much. If you did give us a thumbs up and if you haven't already please consider subscribing. Lots more adventures to come this summer. Tomorrow we're heading back to the mainland and uh, so I think where we're going there. Where are we going? Oh um, Mourn Hill at Winchester. Going to Mourn Hill at Winchester.